So in the last video, we did some basic editing of our um, road, and we're going to come back and do some more road lines later on. But for right now, let's go back to the frog, and let's go back to the code tab. You can see the code tab up here. And we're going to add some more things that happen um, as the frog is doing um, its little video game life. And so the first thing we want it to do is we want to resize the frog so that it fits within the start area. And we also want to make it so that the frog, no matter where it is in the game beforehand, when as soon as we click the green flag, it will glide to the start area. And so what you can see here is, first of all, I need to resize him. So I'm just going to go here. Let's try 50%. That's pretty good. Uh, and you can see he's safely, or she, depending on your frog or they, um, fit cleanly within the starting area so that at the start they shouldn't be run over by any vehicles any cars or trucks before they go there and you can see here this says glide one sex to x something y something so that's glide for one second to these coordinates x 57 y minus 162 now yours might be different you might have chosen to put your frogger on this side there's lots of different choices there um, but what we want is we want this piece, and I only want this piece to happen at the very beginning of the video game. And so I'm going to move it up here above the forever. And I'm also going to slow him down so that it takes two seconds to glide there. So now if I move this frog completely out of the way, and I click the green flag to start the game, the frog gently glides into the starting area and the game begins, and then I can start moving with the arrow keys. So that's success for this video. Great job, everybody. Let's stop this one and get ready for the next one.